Hey, what is up, drivers? Supercars Con here, and today I got a video for you guys today. So, um, I looked on eBay and to see if there was a demo disc for sale of you know the cars, like the cars demo, and apparently it was on like new condition for twelve ninety freaking nine. I'm not even joking, like, um, if you guys look on Amazon, you search up Toad Re Remote, $127. And yet, for this, it's only, like, $12.99. And this is for, like, new condition, and weirdly enough, when I was opening my package, uh, out came this, was, um, these two cardboard things, probably shouldn't touch those, and this envelope, which kind of reminds me of Incredibles a little bit. So, uh, let's open this up. And check it out. Not using a stand whatsoever. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This, this is a lot more smaller than I imagined, to be honest. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, like, PlayStation. Oh, wow. This is the very first demo disc I ever owned. Oh my gosh. DVD Rome. Disc 1... This 106, which is, you know, 106 issue, uh, presented by official U.S. PlayStation Magazine and PlayStation Underground. Like, Need for Speed Underground. Ah, <laughs> uh, and we got Mac. Okay, let's see. Uh, playground demos. Cars. Okay. Oh my gosh, I, I honestly cannot wait to open this. Like I said, this is the very first magazine I ever owned. It's on light new condition, and I don't... I, I don't even think that this was even open. By the way, this is probably the first ever Pixar, let alone Cars, content with with a mature rating, or like rated R. Isn't M pretty much another way of saying R? I don't know. Um, let's see, how do we open this up? Ooh, plastic seal. Huh. Okay, do we just slip out the disc? I'm gonna try to be very careful because I do not want this disc to get scratched up. Ah, uh, this is so difficult. Like, I'm trying, like, I'm on one hand, literally, I'm trying to unbox it, and the other hand, I'm holding the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, crap. Okay, you might hear a finger. Next finger. Use the index. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that look cool? I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this magazine, but wow. Okay, come on. Get out, get out. It's stuck. Try not to get fingers on it. Okay, well, I kinda got a little bit of finger. Huh. Let's see. Seller said a like new condition. Oh, wait, that's the first time. You guys see that? It's the PlayStation logo. This disc is kinda dirty. And this is sort of like new condition. Well, um, I'm not sure how to clean this, but um, I'm just gonna boot this up on my PS2 and try it out. Oh yeah, I was playing some GT3 earlier. Um, I'm just gonna get this out. Life with one hand is a lot more harder than you may expect. Come on. Okay, here, here we go, just use my foot. There, okay, yeah, just fold it out, fold it out. Uh, let's work with me here. I hate getting my disc scratched. Okay, I really hope I didn't scratch that. How does disc scratches really happen? I'm kind of curious, okay. Oh, closed up. Okay, and let's get started the show. Oh no, I think this probably got stuck to the plastic, but whatever. Um, let's boot this up. All right, all right, here we are on the good old PlayStation Two. Let's see what this disc has to offer. Oh, it looks like a Reddit. After all those uh, muck scrapes, I don't even know like what some of those things are, but whatever, let's get to it. Rated T for Teen. Does it? 
it's for a trailer. We do not, we don't want to show trailers here. Ooh, I like this song. Can anyone tell me the name of this? Ooh, inside the game video extras. Wrapped your gap profile playground. Hit <laughs> the start of the show. Cars. There's also Pac-Man World Rally, which we might do in this episode. Just in case of cars is too short. Oh, yeah. Disney presents a Pixar film. You don't really see that nowadays, do you? It's mostly just Pixar, like just Disney Pixar cars, but let's get going. Alright, so red E for everyone. Go back, start. It's pretty much just like the normal controls, I'm guessing. Like, uh, like when you first boot up cars for the first time, I'm pretty sure it's just like the same controls. Nothing up, nothing more too special. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> it's like when you boot up a story mode and uh, you see this graphic. It does still have a pause menu, right? Like, I understand it's a demo, but... I really hope it still has the pause menu because I don't want to play the copyright songs on here. I just want to play just the like, regular gameplay ones. It's still loading. Dude, it's a, it's a single race. Come on. Alright, Pixar. BMG game. I mean, BV, BVG games. Uh, THQ, the classic... Uh, uh, movie video game studio. Ooh. I doubt a whole lot of you guys seen that logo. Highly doubt it. Ah, that is, uh, different. That is kind of different. Huh. You know, there's actually a demo of this game for the Xbox 360, and it actually has, like, more stuff than the PlayStation 2, because on the PlayStation 2, from what I know, it's just a single race. And then on the uh, Xbox 360, it has, like, multiple races. You boot up a race, and it shows, like, the like, races cutscene, like, boosting it with Fillmore, Raider Springs Grand Prix. And that stuff's probably the same races uh, that you have accessible to you in the multiplayer. I'm kind of surprised it's not fully loaded yet. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Let's see, sound. Ooh. Bruno Kuhn. Okay, good to know. Um, here's some placeholders for you. So we have Bruno Kuhn, One More Chicken, and Stone Crows. Game music. They're just percentages, not like the little bars you actually see in game. Aw, oh, that's cool. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we have a little boost. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I love this. Okay, let's see. How do we? How do you power slide? So that's the drift. How do you power slide? Okay, now that's the button to go backwards. How do you power slide? Huh. Okay. Well, on plus I at least it doesn't have copyrighted music for me to edit out. That would be a pain. I'm trying to find, like, how do you power slide it? Okay. Cool to know the change camera views are still here. Oh, it's R1. Okay. We kind of need a go. Oh my gosh, this is so... This is awesome. Okay. Let's see. <gasps> oh... We don't get the full turnaround McQueen. So we don't get the full turnaround version of McQueen, like the camera of McQueen. And also, if you guys notice, look at how McQueen steers. That is so basic. It doesn't have like that lean uh, stick that we get in the final. Oh, <laughs> this is this is awesome. I've been playing this game for uh, I've been playing this game for years. Oh, so I think the turbo meter is only like the two boost version. Uh, I gotta say, I'm not a fan of, like, holding my thumb on X. It's it's not the most comfortable, like, holding my index finger on R2. Because with R2, it actually feels like a gas pedal. Yeah. But overall, overall, this is pretty cool. And let's see, so, 
I th I think one of the I think another difference we we see here is there's no shadows. Look at like look at McQueen. There is no shadows. That's that is another difference to add to the book. There's still multiple safe drivers. <laughs> see, like there's still the score thing, but this is just a demo. This is all we could do. Ah. Uh, okay, I don't think I don't think we could drive backwards. That's pretty. That's pretty sweet. Exit event. It's probably just gonna take us to the main menu, isn't it? Oh yeah, burned rubber in over thirty races, and that was a, that was like a very basic case of like cars. Like it doesn't have like the console label. Well, I'm gonna boot up that race again, and see if we could do like any more shenanigans. But man, that was pretty cool. I also think like Sarge's fence looks different. Like. I don't, I think that was probably a placeholder, isn't it? I'm going to see if we could go, like, out of bounds, because it's just a demo, not the full game. So, it's bound to have, you know, a lot of prototype, and also just game glitches, and probably didn't... They probably didn't focus too much on this, but you may never know. Okay, that took unbelievably forever. Let's see. Oh, uh, there is the off-tracks glitch. Huh. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay, so that's go backwards. Huh. So, it looks like Raider Springs is pretty... So, it looks like Raider Springs is, in fact, finished. But, um, chances are, if we go off track for too long, we're probably just gonna, you know, fall out of the map. Wow, I don't even... I think at this point in development... Let's see, there's Willie's Butte. Huh. So I so I think uh Sarge's boot camp here, I don't think it's actually finished. Like like here, I'll look over the fence again, but all I saw was just pretty much like same thing as like on this ground. But there seems to be a lot more like um like plants and like stuff grown out than the original game, I gotta say. I let's see, is that normal? Let's see, I'm just gonna go over here. Oh my gosh, this is, good. this is so hard to do. Come on. Doc. Oh, so I guess it is finished then. Wow. Okay, let's see, slow down. It just reset me anyways, but still. So, let's see. No. Like I said, I'm not used to the controls. I don't really play the game with these controls anymore, but... Huh. Okay, let's see. So, we have, like, this hill thing. Oh, come on. Dude, this is a demo. Okay, uh, not gonna really be able to do too much here if you really think about it. Huh. Alright, I'm just gonna do a roundabout, see if we could really get somewhere. Oh. Uh, <laughs> by doing this, I crashed the game. Cool. It's gonna reset me, right? Okay. Uh, this is one of the most. This is one of the most coolest things I have ever done. Also, little Darlin and and the Raider Springs thing—they're not here weirdly. It's just like I said, the two songs. Wow. Oh, oh, you want to actually actually notice another thing? McQueen's max speed here—it used to be a hundred eight. Like 180 miles per hour, but here it's only like 158 something like that. But to be honest, they're probably like the exact same speed. I think Pixar is just over exaggerating this stuff. Okay, all right, let's go. So let's go over here. Let's see. Huh. So let's see. There's the road here. Huh. Let's see. So. Uh, so there was a so let's see so there was a hill and um huh. so weird I think there's I think there was a hill there but usually I, I, I'm not I'm not even sure like what I'm talking about at this point it's just it's weird because I don't think that hill was ever there before I mean like I could go check but that means I have to boot up the other disc and everyone's so slow here. Seriously, dude, look at this. I'm catching a flow within like a few seconds. 
At least McQueen still says some iconic lines. Well, that was cars. Um, let's get Pac-Man on here. Pac-Man? Um, I never played Pac-Man World Rally before, but I think it's actually on my wish list for the PlayStation 2. Also, um, I remember in my mobile, uh, so I remember, like, on my, uh, tablet, there was this Pac-Man game, I'm not sure if it's still on the App Store, but I do remember there was, like, this Pac-Man cart game, and I think you can only do, like, one single race on that. But, um, yeah. Banana Namco games! If you guys ever played Wii Party, you, you guys should play that if you guys have a Wii. It's a very fun Pac-Man experience. Smart Bomb Interactive. Pac-Man Roll Rally. Press Start. Race Options. Let's see. Music. Sound. I'm not sure, like, what SFX really stands for. Huh. Oh, no. Just leave that stereo, because that's what I usually see. Uh -huh. Okay, race. One player. <laughs> no two player here. Quick race. Circuit mode. Ooh, I think we got ourselves some stuff to do here. Uh, let's go hard. So we got Blinky. So we got Pac-Man, Blinky, and Puka from... Ooh. We got Puka from freaking Dig Dug. You know, I think just for the memes, let's just do Puka. Ah. Arctic Iceberg. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is so cute. Okay. Let's see. Um, how do you drift again? Okay, come on, come on. Whoa. Item box. It's Mario Kart. Ah, <laughs> uh, even have some, like, penguins. Okay, how do you... How did this set a drift again? Okay. Boom! As some of the cart designs kind of look like the RC car from uh, Toy Story. Oh my gosh, they are not giving me a freaking chance. What is that monster? Okay, come on, just turn, turn. Okay, come on, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Okay, come on. I barely even touched them, and Blinky is like so far ahead. I wonder if Ms. Pac-Man is in this game. Uh, although Miss Pac-Man's not, she's not like an actual like Namco. Uh, she's not an actual Namco character. She's actually from a third party. Huh. I'm sorry. How do you drift again? Oh, someone's pushing me. Um, thank you. I mean, like we sh shoved Pinky. I think I think that was Pinky that we shoved off. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous, but I strangely love it. Okay. Live is hard as a non packing character. Okay, um... Alright, I mean, like, I might get this game. It's kind of interesting, to say the least. Oh my freaking gosh. Okay, come on, let's go, go. You know what, this game... This gameplay style kind of reminds me of... Mario Kart Double Dash from the GameCube. Oh my gosh, that big jump just got us third. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Alright, last lap. We got a big whale. Big fat whale. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Do not fall over the edge. I swear if you do that. Well, okay, come on, come on. Dude! Come on. Oh my gosh. I don't even know, like, what some of the controls are. It might just end up finishing in third. But that tends to be the use for me. Like, when I, like, when I find, like, a new, um, driving game, it usually takes me a little bit to, uh, get, like, I guess, good at it. Is that a bomb? Who's pushing my rear end? I have no clue. There's an item box. What? Okay, we have the most jankiest physics of all time in this game. This is very unpolished. Okay. Fun experience, but not very impressed. Oh my gosh, Puka, your leg there. 
Huh, okay, Blinky, Red Pac-Man, Puka, Pinky, Inky, whoever that is, whoever that is, and Miss Pac-Man. Oh, next level? Um, I think I'm good. I think I'm honestly fine. And that was Pac-Man World Rally, everybody. That was... Uh, it, I'm not even sure if it was... I'm not even sure if we could call it experience, but... It was something. Um, well, thank you guys for um, coming along and viewing the demo disc with me. And, as always, see you guys drive on peace.